third time this has happened in as many days. Boats are going by so fast. They're pulling our mooring pins out of the ground. Unfortunately, the ground's not the hardest at the best of times, but um, even so, we've never had this happen so regularly, have we, Fran? Especially when I just dried my hair. <laughs> <laughs> All three pins. All three pins have come um, out. I don't know what to do because we're supposed to be going out to meet somebody in a while. We need to leave the boat for a couple of hours. But I don't know. Yeah, we're a bit reluctant, aren't we? I've just dried my hair. We're supposed to be going out for lunch. And I never dry my hair and I've just dried it. <laughs> now the sun's come out. That's uh, whales for you. Look at that over there. <laughs> Well, that was great lovely to do that again as I said before it's 47 years since I've been across there on our holiday with my twin brother Jeff older brother Bob and uh, my sister Carol and it's uh, emotional <laughs> emotional So we're in Chirk again, just doing a bit of shopping today, it's a bit wet. Tomorrow we're going to come around for a proper walkabout. 
lovely little town. But uh, what you got, Fran, on your backpack? A couple rocket of boosters. Welsh <laughs> leak rocket boosters. <laughs> Never seen any leaks like it. I mean, I know Wales is known for its leaks, but they are fantastic. So, and we found some more chicken, chicken of the woods mushrooms. So, we're back to pick a little bit. Tea. Well, we're off for a walk again. <laughs> we're going to Chirk a town or village. It's a big village or a little town, one or the other. We can't make our mind up. No, we did just have a discussion about it. We'll have to do research because they, I can't remember what makes a village and what makes a town, but we'll look into it. So it looks a lovely place. We've decided that uh, we're going to up our walking now. We're going to do at least five miles a day from here on in. Oh, at least for the whole of September, every day, regardless of weather. And partly this is to strengthen Rich's foot, which is doing really well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's almost back to normal. But also just for our general health and fitness to yeah, get back up on it. Shed a few pounds, lockdown pounds. Yeah. And it's a beautiful time of year to do it, really. Well, it's the yeah. end of August, it's the 29th of August, but you wouldn't know it. Look at what we're wearing. <laughs> Although the sun's shining, there's a brisk northerly wind and uh, it's going to get up to a maximum of 13, 14 degrees today. That's yeah. uh, Celsius. And we've actually resisted lighting the fire. I know many uh, voters have had the fire lit, but I decided to bake cakes instead the other day and keep the oven on. <laughs> Just to it keep was, warm. Uh, we had about 20 candles lit on the boat last night, didn't we? Which helped. And we always have a big pint um, of water by the side of the bed for the night time. And uh, it's increasingly getting colder, isn't it? As it's the, never yet as the frozen. The days get shorter. It? <laughs> <laughs> it's never yet frozen, no, but it's, it was cold last night, it wasn't was, it? It was, yeah. So we're walking all the way through. To, we can walk to Church Village just up the hill here, but we're actually going to walk through the tunnel um, under the aqueduct across the river um, to Church Bank, where we have moored before, and back up into the village then. And there's a little village trail, I think, which we'll have a look at and yeah, see, we'll see if we can, we can walk around. Work our way around it, yeah. All right, so let's do this then. Boat. <laughs> no, it's walkers. Oh, is it? Oh, look. I just waiting this side of the tunnel for a bunch of walkers to come out and then we can go through. We were just waxing lyrical <laughs> about how much of the country we've seen now. We've been taking this life for two and a half years of narrow boating. And uh, what was you just saying about <laughs> where we used to live? We lived in a, a modern village. In which Essex. Had, which had a, a newly built country park attached to it with a little lake. And uh, I used to walk it every morning, but used to go out really early before anybody else was awake and about really with my dogs and even then used to have a concern or thoughts about land ownership and why we can't explore the places we want to and I used to go around there imagining or just thinking to myself well perhaps I do own this in a way because I'm paying my council tax and my rates and I've got as much right to walk there and be there as anybody and I used to imagine that it was mine my little bit of land but now we've just got it feels like we've got the whole country. <laughs> we have, just look at this around us. Just stunning. And there's a boat going over Chirk Aqueduct. And it's just, we are so lucky. We are just so unbelievably lucky that we get to do this. But we've just met some people who have driven out from Nottingham 
to just be here for a day or so and enjoy it. So I guess it is accessible for most people. It might mean train rides and bus rides to get out and about, mightn't it? But uh, we're just lucky that it's on our doorstep now, aren't we? Yeah. And we do really, really appreciate it. Yeah, we never get blasé. We're just uh, full of wonderment all the time, aren't we? We are. And I'm just making sure Archie's not going in the river. There, there he is. <laughs> The river's flowing really, really fast now because of the heavy rain recently, so he went paddling in there last week or two weeks ago. We've got to watch him today. August has been such a wet month here in uh, Wales. We've only had a few handful of days, haven't we, of sunshine. Yeah. It's been uh, quite yeah. miserable, but this is lovely. It's been a month of extremes, really. Extreme heat and extreme rain. So. <laughs> Where are you, friend? I'm here. Are you here? Oh, <laughs> it's a doggies. Tied up to a chair. I can't find what I want. I'm in, um, we're in the cafe. We've just had coffee and cake. And now I've decided I'm actually going to buy some yarn for myself to crochet myself a jumper. But where to begin? There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Right, sit. Wait, wait. <laughs> At last, we've managed to find some sunny weather to cross an aqueduct in. <laughs> yeah. And it's glorious. Beautiful day. Um, and we're back in England now in about 20 yards. Oh yes, just if we go over the river, which is uh, it's down there, we'll be back in England. There was chaos the other side of the tunnel coming back through just. There were three boats stuck on the, uh, or grounded, boats sideways across the canal, boats pushing through when there was no room for them. Um, but we just parked up for a little while. Let and there is everywhere. It was chaos. We just moored up and let them all get on with it. And should have filmed it, I suppose. But. So we're going to go back now and I think more out in the sticks again for at least a day. Um, heading back towards the Montgomery Arm, but I think we might need a quick uh, stop at Ellesmere just to stock up, knowing that Montgomery hasn't got any supplies on it. And uh, hopefully we've got a week of dry weather. Looks like it, yeah, it looks like it would be good. For the beginning of our walking campaign. <laughs> and I think we must be crossing into England just about now. On the river, over the river, yeah. The River Kerriog. So we managed to do it again today and ended up beating a, trying to beat a deadline. We had five miles and two locks just to get through before we got to Frankton, Frankton Junction where we had a passage booked through and we had to be there before midday. So we left at half nine this morning. Yep. It should really have been plenty of time, yep. shouldn't it? But the first thing that happened was Archie fell in just in front of a lock and had to be fished out. 
Um, and as we reached these two locks, there were queues of hire boaters. Fortunately, we were near the front, um, but there was lots of helping out of other boats to do, wasn't there? You went ahead and helped people out. And uh, so we ended up with a real rush in the end to get to the locks. It took ages to get through those first two locks, didn't it? With a, uh, I hadn't got a clue what, what they were doing, poor sods. So uh, we got two boats through and then the one coming up just sat on the back of their boat drinking tea while I was doing <laughs> the lock for them. And then some poor lady that was that came up from about three boats behind and was new to her hire boat and didn't know what she was doing came up to help Richard the lock. And just as he was about to step over the lock gate, she opened the lock gate and you nearly went in, didn't you? Because she didn't. I said to her, just a minute. <laughs> but um, it was fine. And we got to Frankton Locks six minutes late, but fortunately Lockie had hung on for us because we've got a passage booked. And they're really friendly lock keepers here, aren't they? Really helpful. Yes, really nice people. So we've uh, stopped, topped up with water, done a little bit of foraging. Yes, and we're just cruising now another couple of miles or so to the pub because they do fantastic pizzas there. They had one last time we came down and I fancy me a pizza tonight. Well, that's all right then. That's what we'll do. And it's also quite near the um, wildlife area Yes. Um, that we didn't discover properly, did we? No, so we're going to have a good walk around there tomorrow. Yeah and uh, get down the bottom I think it's pretty quickly because there's lots we want to do once we're down the bottom. We're hoping it's going to be quiet on here again we're actually going to count the boats that's a bit sad isn't it really <laughs> but we're going to count the boats on this canal we've had three so far that were at the water point and the moorings. One so... includes a CRT boat. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. of a walk. We're at a place called Aston Lock uh, on the Montgomery Canal and just over there is a country park and uh, we were here a few weeks ago weren't we and uh, yeah. it was it's gorgeous so we've come for another walk around. See what we can find. Yes it is absolutely stunning. If the weather holds off it's rain forecast now but it's sun shining so we've just decided to go for it and see what happens. Yeah, I don't think we'll be yeah. getting our full five miles in though, do you, somehow? <laughs> but the difference in four weeks from when we came here last, I don't know if we've got any footage that we can pop in, but it, yeah, it was have. just the flowers were everywhere. There were insects and butterflies everywhere and everything was going to seed now. It's so different in just a few weeks. But it'll be interesting to see. Well, let's do it then. <laughs> 